I will explain one by one. <laughs> so this target media screen and color projection. So it will load separate series of five parts. We can do this also using the import property. So using import property, you specify the specified piece of file and set the media file. So it is in this thing. We can also specify in XML filter. So this is the XML filter and this is the XML filter. Okay. Uh, this is complete list of media parameters. So we can target with height. This is our browser width. And this is device width and device size. This is our uh, total device size. Means my laptop or uh, TV monitor size. So orientation, whether it is portrait or landscape, uh, aspect ratio, so that is uh, 16 or 17 or 1024, something like that. Device aspect ratio the same. So we can target the devices like uh, 1024 and 1068, we can specify something like that. We can also uh, target the uh, colors, whether it is the bit rate of color. So the color index, uh, the color index, there is a color index table for every device. We can target that also monochrome, we can target for black and white devices. Uh, resolution, it is uh, very useful for print, we can target the DPI. Uh, then we can target scan also. Scan means specifically for TV, the processing and something like that. Uh, then this, the display devices are, uh, we can, there are two types of devices. One is bitmap and one is grid based. So our old uh, model mobiles are grid based. So we can target that also. Uh, except this orientation, scan and grid, uh, we can set uh, target the minimum and maximum. So minimum, minimum width, maximum width, minimum height, maximum height, something like that. Uh, except, uh, except orientation, scan and grid. So we will see, uh, we'll see one by one. Uh, yeah, this is one start, uh, start and filter. It will split all between. It will apply. This property applies to all the devices. Even if you are not mentioned, the default is all. So it will. Uh, this uh, this line is effective to all the devices. So we can combine several media queries. For example, here I use screen and color and projection and color, something like that, using comma, comma represents R, uh, a logical expression, and this is and. So with this we can target multiple devices at the same time. So we can use this not to negate the size. So if we specify not, uh, the particular size will not apply to and color devices. Then only, so we can target only, so it will, uh, it will avoid the other screen type. Device aspect ratio, so this is based on the uh, screen size, the device size. 
here I have this, uh, for example, we should not use device as a credit for RL devices because the node support PX fixed value. This will, this, uh, this will create uh, actually media queries are large scale expressions, true or false. If I uh, write this, I say for media RL and this device aspect ratio, it will the result is false. We won't apply. Then pixel. Uh, here also I use targeted pixel for uh, media. My query is device speech, but my device is speech. So this is written false. This CSS files won't apply. And this is bit. Uh, bit means our browser bit. So we can set minimum bit or maximum bit. Uh, device bit. This is our total size of our uh, device screen, whether it be monitor size or something. So we can target device width or device height. So we can orientation. We can create separate style for orientation or import mode. Uh, device aspect ratio. So this is the text for targeting based on device aspect ratio. The 66% is the browser support. 
we have fallback options. You can use there is some great framework, JavaScript framework for that PS3 media queries. JS. So, so uh, you can use modernization to train policies and apply this media queries. So, we can deliver uh, even the media queries and process. So, the future of media queries, in the future, maybe uh, we can, WCC may include 3D glasses uh, detecting our battery. For example, my battery is below 10%, I can uh, disable my HTTP records. Uh, also, my like, bandwidth. My band, bandwidth feels very low, then I can uh, load smart uh, video. If my bandwidth is very high, then I can load uh, high definition high videos. <coughs> So this is, these are useful resources for learning media queries. There is one type called media queries. Okay, I will. The CSS clips are from Eric Mayer's. The yeah, list of work which contains lot of articles about the response to the Smashing management. Uh, anybody using Bootstrap? Bootstrap? Yeah. Uh, Bootstrap and Foundation support media queries. Uh, response to the So there is a great work going on in between Bootstrap and Foundation. Media queries in your project use HTML5 and PSS3 before the title. This is Twitter Bootstrap. Um, actually, because when the layer will be different, it is <coughs> uh, like this. Okay, I can't increase my screen size. So, based on my screen size, the vector will automatically degrade.
TSS. There is only one TSS file. Okay. Uh, this is this is the TSS file for this Peter Boots that says. Only one TSS file. So here I can write uh, size bar with device is maximum with 480 TSS. Then yeah, and the same thing is if I can write where media the maximum is the same thing is here. Uh, here. <coughs> this is for minimum it is 73 and maximum it is 98. So we can create separate types for that size. The maximum it is 98. This is for our desktop, minimum it is 90 ppm. This is for TV and big screen, minimum it is 1200 ppm. So, we are developing on web app that is running our car instrument, car. We have, I am okay for fast, we have developing on device, uh, car multimedia system. We have installed Android, Android you know, operating system, we have installed basic browser inside there. So we are, we are using media for this uh, It is working very fantastic. We can use Twitter and Facebook apps into our car multimedia system. <coughs> Thank you. 